Well, thanks for joining me for another video. Today is going to be a unique one, and hopefully we'll see more of these on the channel very soon. I will be unboxing two different items today, or two different packages, I should say. The first one is from HTL Holsters. I had two custom knife holsters made, and I have a bonus. Jeremy at HTL Holsters ended up laser engraving a Kydex for one of these knives and also engraved the knife itself. So we have a matching knife and holster engraving and it is a theme and I've saw pictures but I'm not gonna disclose any info until we open it up and take a look and see how they turned out. So this is not open but it will be soon. Next I have from Ronald Patterson. He sent me my Waddle Ace of Spades axe head back. The handle was cracked. I sent the axe head to him so that he could put a custom handle on it. And he does excellent work. It's phenomenal. I haven't saw a picture of this. I don't know what it looks like. So I'll be seeing it for the first time when I unbox it live on camera. I'm very excited. It's been hard to wait a couple days after receiving both of these packages to wait to get set up for the video and then finally open them up. It's kind of like a kid on Christmas. I wanted to get right into them. I was patient. So anyway, here we are, the moment of truth. Let's switch to the overhead camera and I'll slice these boxes open and pull out the goodies inside. All right, first up on the list is gonna be the Ace of Spades World Axe Throwing League branded axe by uh, Mr. Patterson. So you just wanna use a small knife to get this package open. Seems very delicate. So use a small knife. He definitely takes pride in his packaging. This looks amazing. And there's a note. I'm not sure that on camera yet. Now it's tear into this bad boy. I did the engraving on the this axe head, and Mr. Patterson has made me a handle. Wow. I said gold and blue to go with the collars and the West Virginia flag. And, oh my gosh, can you see that? That is amazing. Wow. Oh my gosh, that is so amazing. Wow. I hope this camera focuses so you can see the detail. I mean, my engraving looks pretty good, but not as good as this handle. This is beautiful. I'm just amazed. I don't even want to throw this anymore. It looks too nice. Okay, that's amazing. I'll leave that on camera so we can admire that as we open up package number two. Take our small knife and get this tape off of here. And there we go, look at that, HTL holsters. 
Oh, he sent me a bonus mag pouch that he cut out with his laser and then did some nice engraving around the outside. It's awesome. So, reversible right or left hand. This is very nice. Get some uh, more light on that. That is very nice. In case I had to cut it out because I muffled the mic, it is reversible right versus left hand. Now he holds here, now he here. It's very well made. Jeremy is making some excellent stuff. He has, whoa, he has a YouTube channel. So go check it out. Take a look at some of his videos. Now I sent Jeremy two knives. One, I did not have absolutely no engraving on. And that is this Ontario knife. Rat 3. I just wanted it left alone with a nice horizontal mount holster. And wow. That is very nice retention. The collar matches beautifully. It's exactly the way I wanted it mounted for a horizontal belt mount for a cross draw. So if it's mounted on your belt over here, you can reach around with your right hand and access it. Look at these nice polished edges. Jeremy takes pride in his work, you can definitely tell. And now let's look at this bad boy. So I saw the sneak peek of this Kydex engraving and Jeremy has dubbed this the frequency knife. You can see it does say frequency on the handle. And we have some frequency lines engraved into the Kydex. He did mention there was an issue with the, the way this knife was made for retention in this type of sheath. Because it did have a sheath with a buckle on it. Frequency on the leather engraved as well. Let me see. Pop this open. So there's our snap and leather closure for retention. Oh boy. All right, now we got some light. There, we get some reflections. Frequency is also engraved on the blade. There's some silver and gold tones in there. That looks nice. Excellent work, Jeremy. I'm going to take some close-up pictures of this engraving so you guys can see. I'll put those in. So we have a beautiful frequency-themed knife. The blade. Matching sheath and buckle. Excellent work, sir. Way better than the leather sheath it came with. This will actually be functional now. Thank you.
this sheath looks amazing. Excellent retention. This axe is just unbelievable. So you talk about two skilled makers. Axe handle, kydex, and laser engraving. As Project Farm would say, very impressive. That's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. Leave a comment if you have any questions or comments or smart remarks. We'll get to those as soon as possible. And I will roll in some up-close photos at this time. And I hope you all have a great day.